I had the meanest mother in the whole world. Let me tell you about her. While other kids ate candy for breakfast, I had to have cereal, eggs, toast, and juice. And when others had pop and candy for lunch, I had to eat a sandwich. As you guessed, my supper was different from other kids also. But at least I wasn't alone in my suffering. My two sisters had the same mean mother as I did. My mother insisted upon knowing where we were at all times. You would think we were on the chain gang. She had to know who our friends were and what we were doing, and she insisted if we said we'd be gone an hour, that we'd be gone one hour or less, not one hour and one minute. I'm ashamed to admit it, but she actually struck us. Not once, but each time we did as we pleased. Can you imagine someone actually hitting a child just because he disobeyed? Now you can begin to see how mean she really was. While the other girls were wearing mini skirts and smoking cigarettes, we had to be little grandmas and were called old-fashioned and squares. Mother would not even let us go to the drive-in movies. How could she be so mean? My mother was a complete failure as a mother, and whom do we have to blame for the terrible way we turned out? You're right, our mean mother. The worst is yet to come. We had to be in bed by nine each night and up early the next morning. We couldn't sleep till noon like our friends, so while they slept, my mother actually had the nerve to break the child labor law. She made us work. We had to wash dishes, make beds, learn to cook, and all sorts of hard things. I believe she lay awake at night thinking up mean things to do to us. She always insisted upon our telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, even if it killed us, and it nearly did. She embarrassed us no end by making our dates and friends come to the door to get us, and none of this tooting of the car horn. I forgot to mention, while my friends were dating at the mature age of 12 and 13, my old mean mother refused to let me date until the age of 15 and 18. 15, that is, if your date took you to a school function only, and maybe that was twice a year. So look what all we missed. We never got to march in a protest parade, nor to take part in a riot burn draft cards and a million and one things that other children did. She forced us to grow up into God-fearing, educated, honest adults. And using this as a background, I'm trying to raise my three children. I stand a little taller and I'm filled with pride when my children call me the world's meanest mother.